Yo guys, and welcome back to more of AC Valhalla. We're gonna continue with the completion of for of course. And uh, yeah, we're going to try to finish, you know, all the main story that we have left. And of course, all the side stuff as well. Um, the last time we played, we had like really major stuff happening. So, you know, in case anybody hasn't seen it, we're not gonna say what specifically happened. Like in detail, but we did switch from modern day character to Basim, so that happened. <laughs> and uh, hey, Italian, welcome, dude. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go directly back into the Animus so we can start on the uh, historical aspect. And yeah, I'm excited to see you know where it's like added with Avor and Sigurd. And uh, hey, Ixi, I should go side by the fire outside again. That's it. Alright, let me go and uh, do that. Uh. Something else happened when you did it. Yeah, there's a good chance that um, I did it already last time. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I interacted with uh, everything that we had, so let's go back. Um You saw, you saw someone sitting on the other bench. Okay, that didn't happen to me. However, I did see a squirrel. But it wasn't here, it was like closer to the grave. Hello, little fella. Yeah, that is. I wonder if that squirrel is a reference to the mythological uh, squirrel character. <laughs> Maybe squirrel reborn. Bleeding effect shouldn't take long to kick in, a few days at most. So here we go. Yeah, I definitely think Basim is going to be the uh, next villain. I can't really believe that he's gonna be the next protagonist, to be honest, even if we can play him at the moment. But yeah, he was too eager to meet uh, William Maltz. And, you know, he's obviously planning something as he's, like, Loki reborn. <laughs> you know, he's obviously just as, you know, mischievous as uh, Juno could have been. Thank <laughs> you. 
Steady, Eivor. Uh, yo, Mr. Goody, and uh, hey, Demise. Also, thank you, uh, Assassin Legs, for the follow. Eivor, Sigurd! Tovi. Welcome home. a great feast, it seems. Eivor! Sit a moment and rest. Sigurd. For me. Gift of the gods, you are back. Safe and standing tall. Did you... Did you find what you were looking for? We did. We did. But it was not for us. What is this? I... Um... returned inside of the hearth come your secret is no longer safe Eivor Ranvi what is this is everything all right our Jarl has returned to lead us forward into an uncertain future will you speak to your people for love and joy words can jade our souls must sound in a heartful song. And when... No. You are less mine than I am yours. And I ask of you only this. Keep me honest in the times to come. Hearken well in Hall of Kings On ocean steep my words gain wings Odin's mead I form will bring For noble deeds thine honor sing We beat and blaze our trail of red Till Odin gazed upon the dead The host we sound the mighty horn to fight for those who fall, for those who fight and those who fall, may horns resound the mighty horn, for we who fight, for we who fall. I got goosebumps from this. It was a damn good scene. You know, while watching the scene, I just realized how much I love Valhalla at this point. And, you know, getting close to the ending of a game. <laughs> also, how drunk is Eivor again? Um, you know, I already have like a feeling of wanting to replay it. <laughs> so yeah. Just great, you know, when a game Sigurd, can give it to you. Eivor, 
Before you say more, I must tell you something. Randvi and I have, uh, have ended our marriage. I am sorry to hear that. Ah, do not be. We adore one another dearly, but our marriage was not built on love. We were brought together as an act of peace. I was pledged to her well before I knew her. And though we have tried to settle our differences and find love in our faults, it has not worked out. And so we have dissolved our bond. Yet as a clan, we will grow together. Then I'm glad for you both, and for the rest of us. This place would not be the same without you two. It's really great how the, you know, relationship to Sigurd has developed. I honestly wouldn't have expected it to, you know, end at well. And for Sigurd to kind of come to senses, you know, realizing that, um, you know, maybe there isn't something big for him awaiting at the end. But, you know, that's all right. And he doesn't have to, uh, you know, seek glory and leadership and all that. Like even giving, you know, a for the role of a Yar. And it kind of reminded me, you know, with like him having lost an arm. Um, it reminded me of a story of uh, Atayir and Malik, you know, in AC1. Though quite different, you know, it's very much about like them developing the relationship and then at the end... Uh, you know, they become closer than ever before. Just really greatly written and uh, developed. But yeah, I guess it's time to pledge to the last region of the game, which would be uh, Epenchar, I think. Come to me. I want to see the Alliance map. Hamptonshire, the last Saxon stronghold. And very heavily guarded. King Alfred is preparing for war. You will meet tremendous resistance. As will Alfred. Is Guthrum Jarl there with his army? He is. He and Uber have gathered a sizable force and intend on launching an attack on Alfred soon. If we support their assault, England will fall to us. A pagan land where a multitude of gods may freely roam. I will go to Hamptonshire and speak with Guthrum. Send word to our allies to gather in the Thames just outside the Shire. I will. May the gods share in this, our final victory. What is it? Eivor, you must not go. You must not. The signs, the portents, they shout and veil. Your leaving will be our doom. Speak clearly, Volker. What have you seen? I have thrown the bones, I have stared the offal of beasts, and in the rising steam I saw the end of it all! Though this battle you may win, this war you will not. Your foe will be your master, your hope will be your grief. This is fate. Our fate. I thank you for this, Valka, but the yarns of fate are too frayed for me to follow now. I owe this fight to my friends and allies, and I will see it through. Go then. With great care. But know that the home you leave will not be the home to which you return. Okay. That doesn't mean good. I mean, she also had, you know, the prophecy of us betraying Sigurd. Um, but she didn't do directly. But, you know, as Eivor said in the last stream, um, he betrayed him. You know, in other ways, like more subtle, I guess. Which, technically, I guess you can't really count as a betrayal, but in a wider sense, it was. Um, so I really hope, you know, nothing bad happens to Ravensthorpe. Once he come back. We have to, uh, to see. 
But you know, one thing is clear, like looking at the history, I don't think King Alfred will die. Because this is still before the 80s, I think. And I think Alfred didn't die before 899. And we know from the DSCs that they take place in like 86, I think. At least the siege of uh, Paris, I think. Um, so yeah, maybe, you know, A4 isn't successful in his uh, you know, quest to defeat King Alfred. At least historically it would make... Uh, Makes sense. But yeah, who knows, you know, they, they still have, of course, ways to, uh... To deal with, uh, historical... Um, alternatives. So we have found uh, Yggdrasil last time. Um, a massive simulation device built by the ESO over 75,000 years ago. From what we have seen, it appears this device was one method the ESO used to generate and explore possible futures, alternate realities and counterfactual histories. With right input, it could generate any sort of reality the user desired. And that's why, you know, Valhalla is a thing because it's like literally the beliefs of the, you know, most people. And thus, if they go into this machine, they're gonna explore exactly that. Just a great way to kind of handle mythology, you know, because it is very clear in describing that all of this is, a, you know, illusion. It's not uh, happening for real. Right, let's go ahead and make our way to Winchester. I'm nearing where? Eivor, you come at Guthrum's call. It is good to see you. And you, Soma. There's an uneasy peace here. Both armies with their hackles up. Was blood spilled? No. We took Werum without resistance. These Saxons accompany their lord as we stand beside Guthrum. So this fort is not the sum of his ambitions. Guthrum's plan is to bring the Saxons to the table. If he can win the peace without a fight, he will do so. And how likely is that? Just now, they sit on their thumbs in the church, talking in circles. Come, I will take you to him. Who is Guthrum meeting here? Is it Alfred? That's right. The King of the West Saxons has agreed to negotiate. Seems we have him on the back foot. Guthrum should be careful. Alfred speaks with Loki's tongue. Guthrum is not a babe at teat, Eivor. Nor is Alfred. If he has come, it is for his own advantage. Then give us counsel. Stand by Guthrum, show our strength. The King of Hayseeds will soon be humbled. Odin! Trust it's with us! And, uh, hey, Rod. We took this town as if it were a straw hall. And welcome, Raiders. Your show of swagger and strength has my attention, Guthrum. 
But we agreed on terms. What more do you want? The crown of Wessex. Wessex has a king, and that king has the backing of the Almighty. Yours is a fever dream, Dane. Um, Vala's going quite good. Yeah, we just uh, arrived back in Raven's Fob. Kind of, uh, you know, taking on Baru as a Yar. <laughs> and uh, now we just started the last chapter of uh, the game, which is uh, the win ever happened in Shire. Um, you know, Alfred storyline. So I'm quite excited to experience the ending of the historical part of the game. How was the rest of uh, Lara Croft today? So a fun fact, uh, but Guhrum is actually somebody who joins uh, the uh, Christian uh, confession because of political reasons. I think Alfred forces him, at least historically speaking. So um, I think we can expect something like this to happen. Guthrum does not negotiate with oathbreakers, men whose words are only shadows of their thoughts. Ah. Eivor, our blunted tool returns, Lord. I have given you all I care to, a Dane geld to leave Wareham. You swore an oath upon the cross and that pagan hammer. And when you scurry back to whatever shit-soaked hovel you crawled from, we will release your men. Speak again, handmaid, and I will feed your tongue to Eivor's raven. A fair trade. We already have your cock. Are we done with this pissing contest? If Guthrum has given you his word, then he will honor it. We will leave this town. You have one day. Do not test the king's patience further, or our men will return to Wareham with force. And if you doubt my conviction, know that the Avon River near Uffentune runs red with the blood of your countrymen. Their commander, what did his men cry as he fell? Ula, Uba? Yes, that was it. Remember, you have taken my silver. In return, I expect your honor. I will await news of your retreat in Chippenham. Uba dead? It cannot be. Gods, I will tear that Saxon skin from his bones if this is true. Alfred hisses with a snake tongue, but he gains nothing from this lie. When news of this spreads through the camp, no Saxon will survive the day. You swore upon the cross. Oh, I have no intention of cowing to that milk sack. Now more than ever, I will take his throne and his head. In Winchester, Alfred used me as a tool and cast me aside. So let the betrayer be betrayed. We'll burn this village to the ground. After that, we take care of Alfred. Ah, excellent, Rod. Congrats on the uh, process. Make it a Saxon pyre! Lawbreakers! Destroy everything! Their roofs to splinters, their bones to dust! Oh, no, it is it! Let vengeance steer your swords! And you'll feel my hands in your gut, piglet! Fire and flame! Burn it all! This pissing contest. New sample perhaps. <laughs> That's a good idea, actually, Rod. Yeah, if somebody wants to uh, clip that, uh, can definitely go ahead and do so. It would make it easier to, uh, you know, save as a sample. You 
you have no honor, Dane, you will not steal our land. It's Stop too late, her. little man. Our gods have spoken with war and wit. This is our England now. I kind of have a feeling that, you know, the Saxons would like to answer us burning down a village with uh, attacking our village. Well, take it! <laughs> Can it like <laughs> throw it where I want you to throw it? Dead. My blood needs fire after cooling in this sudden field. You're burning. Let vengeance steer your swords. You're burning hell, I'm not much longer. Feast on your marrow in Valhalla. <laughs> Leave <Yeah>. nothing standing. <laughs> Throw the dog off strike! Fire flame! Burn it all! Leave nothing standing! Flank the idiot! Press hard! I'll take you! Let vengeance steer your swords! Their prayers go unanswered this day. We should find Soma. This place is routed, Soma. Good work. We leave now. There are forest ruins just east of here, along the road. Come on, men! Move! Actions ahead! Spread out! We have this! Gonna spit you! Where's your king now, Saxons? Cowering like a mouse! Sent to their guard. Let us keep moving. Take your last breath. It's like one of my favorite finishers. <laughs> to meet their maker! <laughs> the ruins are close! Keep moving! <laughs> 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 We can rest here a moment. Now, tell me what you know of that breaker of rings. Weak and wretched troll. 
Alfred is a wily fox. He appears frail, but draws upon an inner strength. He will not be easy to oust. Fury will fuel my army and my claim. It will not be enough. You must find a weakness. Yes. That is why I called you here. Do you balk at the opportunity to bury the Saxon king? I must first hear a plan to balk at. Mm. Alfred spoke of Chippenham, a squat hovel of sheep and peasants. So why does he go there, and not to Winchester? Your scouts must know, they're the best in England. A holiday feast, their Saxon Christ Mass. Alfred will warm his heels by the fire, while Uba lies cold in an English field. I have called upon my allies to join us in this fight, but I must know where to send them. Is Chippenham our final prize? It is. But uh, I will need my men for the coming fight as well. The hostages Alfred took, if there is a chance to save them. We will not lose more friends today. Where are they held? A place further ahead through this forest. They call it Hampton Blockade. Soma, ride north to the Thames and lead my allies south. They should be gathered by now. I will. Gather on the river passing Chippenham. The rest of you set up camp there. I called you Raven Feeder once. At Porchester, you were as hot headed as Thor. You have become a true leader, Eivor. There's much to come, Guthrum, before we can rest with mead in our hands and songs in our ears. I will crush Alfred's skull with my bare hands if Uba is dead. We cannot dwell on this, even if it's true. If you want the throne, only strategy will deliver it. Or bloody wrath will steal it. I will follow this Alfred, hound his heels. Revenge burns within me. A wise man once told me, we do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected, strike swift. You turn my words against me now, Wolfkist. I took them too hard in my darkest times, my friend. And Sigurd? He is back with you? My brother's story is a long one, and for another time. Ridding the land of a strong ruler will make Wessex harder to tame. You almost sound like you respect him, Eivor. I've come to understand the trials of leadership, Guthrum. It is hard not to, when you cradle something as fragile as life within your hands. And uh, Rod, thank you so much for the uh, clip. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, to make it way easier to uh, make a sound bit out of it. Cast about this land, there. my friend. This is the blockade. The hostages must be in these buildings. What is your plan? We can tread quietly so as not to alert the guards. But I can raid this place in moments with my crew. I will follow your lead. Uh, Ava's sake. Welcome, dude. Better snake. Still having to deal with uh, a bit of uh, think he kept his word? of a cold, but I cannot say for certain. If they feeling better, soon. How are you today? Can you see your men? No, but we must keep looking. <laughs> Look, I had to have them all. Alfred demanded it. We will save them, Guthrum. Stay calm. I was like, which car is actually jumping on me like that?
I wonder if I could shoot through there. Oh, almost. Just finished three hours of online school. That's nice. I hope that uh, went well, Snake. Some of your men. We will not be feasting in Odin's Hall tonight, boys. You have my true thanks, friend. Go to the camp near Chippenham. Find your countrymen there. Good. We'll pay back the Saxons for the insults they heaped on us. Right, so we're looking for a key here. First one. And uh, hey Denro, I haven't gotten something like uh, or something called for Sema yet. You're two to three tablets away from getting Excalibur, my snake. Yeah, that sword is so so good. Looks nice as well. There is a camp set up north by Chippenham. Go there. As long as I can cut some Saxons down, I don't care where we face them. Are you Guthrum's men? Aye. Free us and we will fight by your side. Is that Sigurd's uh, voice actor? Ah, thank you, my friend. Every Saxon who spat at me will die. You will have your chance, but don't be foolhardy. Let your steps take you far from here to a camp near Tippenham. But we go ahead and also destroy the uh, naval blockade we have here.
so, uh, how many zedits have you gotten so far, Snake? You did a great deed here. Their families will raise a cup to you. I need no thanks, Guthrum. Let us speak more when we are safely away. Oh, damn sake. You did some good uh, progress there. We're safe here. Let us speak, Guthrum. You should join your people at the camp. Even a surprise takes preparation. Your bravery? Your leadership, Eivor? You wear it well. You have grown much since last we spoke. You judged me fairly, Guthrum. Harsh, though your words were. But I do not make the same mistake twice. How is your brother, Sigurd? He lives. A changed man. But he is free of full case torment. That at least was a deed well done. Will this all be worth it in the end? Everything we have done? Everything we have sacrificed to win this land? Sometimes I dream of soothed black furrowed earth. And blood seeping from seedlings. Poisoning our future. We must believe our way of life will survive. Our fates are woven. But our deeds forge our destiny. <sighs> and so to our final battle. We will wait for you at the camp. Yeah, I mean a reward from the zealots is of course uh, the uh, medallion of the Order of the Ancients. But uh, there's also free tablets, I think, that uh, the zealots have. So um, you should also kill them if you want to get all the tablets. Yeah! Yeah, exactly. Definitely gotta get them uh, if you want to get uh, Excalibur. Guards here are vigilant. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, same snake. I used to like take on uh, zealots that were like 60 to 100 level above me. And that shit was just, you know, damn hard. <laughs> I could like two shot you at, at certain times. But uh, later on when you get like the level advantage and like more skills like with some more uh, when dodging. It uh, really does make it uh, easier. Yeah, the game definitely does, uh, you know, get easier the later you get into the game. You definitely feel, you know, how you become more powerful over time. Where did the big guy go? We killed. Was the big dude had like uh, the wealth on him? This is something that kind of bugs out certain times. I think if you don't go and immediately pick it up. Yeah, I think that's the case. Same thing happened uh, down there. Bit annoying, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Die! 
I didn't ex expect that. What the heck? <laughs> well, it kind of works, I guess, but. Oh, horsey. It was uh, quite the jump. a lot of fish, but where's the uh, fisher? Yeah, no very snake. Take your time, dude. Oh, shit. What was like surface? Just gonna cheese it here. Red Beasy was lerda me, my best and new one, your loma mid stodlum. Frem fulle me thinchat, it shall less tichtan sumes oswine. Senior Prestis Altalwe. Very interesting. So Franco mit Drakum. Hey! Follow me to the casks! Yes! Let's have a drink! Uh. There's no beer like no beer. No drink, eh, you festering thrust bucket! I'll see you rot in a cell! Bloody false promises! Always makes wrong with you. You there, a word. Promises! Idiot. 
idea how to get out here. Uh, the order isn't complete yet. I still have uh, a father to take care of. You don't like it anymore. It's uh, it's fair. Let's go and get a boat we have here. Yeah, I definitely wanted to make, uh, you know, wealth something that's uh, a bit more difficult to obtain, I guess. So we're locked uh, a lot underground or like behind, you know, doors. Um, so a lot of it becomes like puzzles, I guess. But that's honestly what I like about this game. It's not like Odyssey where they just, you know, throw gear at you. And a shit ton of it. You have like less, uh, less wealth, I guess, but uh, more important. I mean, some of the stuff gets highlighted, but uh, the other stuff, you know, that uh, uh, the other stuff that um, you have to destroy is mostly obvious, I would say. But yeah, for example, if a door is barred, then you know it's gonna mark the spot, or if there's like a ladder. <laughs> So hey, uh, XCon, welcome. Thanks for following.
about malevolence. This land bears deep affliction. Wait, you can always uh, pull out uh, the torch, snake. <laughs> you know, if it's getting dark. Hmm. I feel stronger already. Oops, that was not a good one. Oh, I need to, I need to heal. just realized that the rhythm for this track here is very similar to the one of uh, For Those Who Fight, For Those Who Fall. You know the song that we heard earlier when Avo returned. I have a feeling that this drum is kind of like a variation of uh, the track. By Odin, the Nethin curse is lifted. Yeah, the torch is actually really um, good, like even for combat, especially if you don't have the ability to uh, double weird weapons yet, you can still pull off a torch and, you know, treat it as a secondary uh, weapon regardless. And it's also really good for like fire damage, you know, like even in combat. a lot of damage all of a sudden. Fire. Do you see, Sunan?
Alright, so that's everything down here. Uh, let's go ahead and go for these two. I must be careful now.
You have uh, one tablet left, Snake. Nice, dude. Gonna unlock uh, Excalibur way earlier than I did. I unlocked it uh, once I got to uh, Heptonshire. So basically at the end of the game, like last stream I think I unlocked it. At like power level. Yeah, maybe like 450 to 470. So like 150 power levels uh, after you. Yeah, there is. Tight, 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 yeah. And uh, Mola, dude, thank you so so much for the three month resub. Thank you for doing that, dude. And uh, good morning to you. Yeah, thank you so much for uh, the resub. Yeah, this game is just beautiful. Also that soundtrack. I think it's called uh, Kingdom of Wessex.
And uh, hey Mula, that's the voice. I hope uh, you know that goes well, and that you enjoy your luck. Uh, yes, I am, Mola. <laughs> I'm having a bit of a cold since uh, two days, but it's getting better over time. Like, I'm feeling way better than yesterday, but my voice is still impacted a bit. Go! Thank you, Mola. I appreciate it. Alright, so that could be the last artifact. Let's go up here and make our way to this artifact.
do everything myself! Get away from me, damn you! End of our steak. I hope you have a good class, dude. And I catch you another time. Show me. to get on the other side.
Be a key somewhere that is. So where's the key? There. Uh, hey Valores, welcome dude. Okay, so this is Bart. Yeah, it's going alright uh, Lawless. Having a bit of a cold unfortunately, but it's getting better. How are you today?
Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. And uh, that's good to hear. I'm glad that you're feeling well yourself. Alright, let's go up here. I saw this. Congrats on uh, getting the internship. That's awesome. Ah, oh, yeah, that sword. Uh, that is Excalibur. <laughs> the sword that uh, King Arthur, of course, uh, possessed. Let's have a look at this. Increased speed when close to full health. That's not too bad. So I would like to upgrade uh, the ration snakes, I think. So we have like that like maxed out at the end of the game. Just gotta get more of the uh, iron ore. What's the best way to get down here? Where's uh, the autopilot leading me, though? I need your eyes, my friend. Okay, let's just uh, trust it.
Aid me. Be my eyes. Uh, happy to hear, Mona, that you could uh, take care of it. And uh, you didn't miss too much. Um, I'm just currently trying to catch up on all the sites that we have left in the last region. So currently we're just missing uh, four wealth and two artifacts. And uh, yeah, then I reckon we're going to finish off the uh, historical story. And uh, thank you, Mona. Yeah. Kind of annoying, but it's getting better, fortunately. <laughs> I should not be seen in this area. Yeah, it's not the uh, Rona, fortunately, Mona. <laughs> I got it from my niece, uh, who, you know, got sick and then got tested, and she wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> 
and uh, hey Nessa Bird, welcome. How's your um, Odyssey playthrough going, Nessa? <laughs> and uh, hey Levy, welcome. How are you today? So, uh, hey Ricardo, thank you for the follow. <whistles> yeah, Vala's going quite good. We're about to finish the uh, main story, I think. At least the historical part. Personally, I'm still a bit uh, under the weather. Um, still dealing with uh, stuffy nose and all that stuff, but it's getting better. Sorry to hear, Levy. Was uh, work that bad today? I haven't heard of uh, Sky Factory yet. What uh, what type of game is that one? <laughs> Oof, Levy. That sounds awful. I'm really sorry to hear about that. So not even the uh, medications that you have are helping you? No! Ah, okay, it's a mod for Minecraft. I see. Sorry to hear about that, Levy. 
so any chance that he can like uh, I don't know get a bit of time off and take care of himself. Yeah. It really sounds like you need some uh, sleep really bad. Well, that's good at least. I definitely hope that uh, you will feel better soon, Levy. Well, I hope um, to make your day more pleasant, Levy. a bear. Of that door spot. I wonder if I could jump over here with a uh, dive off of a car. Mm, not quite. Um, yeah, the game's going quite good. We're definitely getting closer to the, you know, final ending at story content. So I'm quite curious to see what will happen. Hey, that actually works. Um, yeah, I think I will finish the main story today, but there's still a bit of side content like um, delivery quests and uh, a couple like um, maps, uh, map locations, like treasure maps I have to find. But uh, main story wise, we're definitely gonna finish it today, I think. That's the last uh, artifact. Alright, cool. Let's go for it. And then I wonder where the next uh, main quest will be. Because currently we don't uh, have one, I think. They did say we have to go back to the camp. But where's the camp? <laughs> I guess down here, maybe. That's where it started.
Something is wrong. Foul. Curse it. The last artifact of the game. in the 8th century towards their problem. <laughs> yeah. They never disappeared. They were always there. <laughs> a letter from a lumberjack. A saint with, uh, with sun. I cannot take this anymore. These my bandits of the Mayon Valley torment me. I'm a humble chopper of trees, fell off a sacred weald. I have prayed and spoken with monks at various scriptoriums, pleaded they call to arms, but they say it is unchristian. I've turned my axe onto humans to protect us after what occurred to Erzvin and Margrif, who sheltered me yet were struck. Chat, if you're reading this, know that I have found solace near the southern Great War of Winchester in order to keep these marauders at bay. Your brother, Shedworth. Citizen! So could be that uh, there's uh, a key for this. And holy shit, Felix hosted you, hosting the stream for 734 viewers. <laughs> Welcome everybody, and how's it going? What did you stream today, uh, Felix? I can't wait it 10 minutes ago. For real. So it's like a uh, bot or something. Great. Well, if that's the case, I got Felix. <laughs> I don't want to get botted. Really, you get that happening and uh, you as well, Rod? I haven't yet. Interesting. Okay, so my guess is we can't get this until 
we go to the southern gate of uh, Winchester. What lies ahead. And you had it happening three times, Rod. Jesus. Uh, yeah, that's the verse of all, Levy. I hope you feel better soon. And uh, yeah, we're always there for you if you need some company. So hopefully, catch you soon, Levy, and uh, get better. We have the southern gate, but I can't spot uh, a key yet. The one you banned before, uh, that one created that account one hour ago. And you checked the channel and they were streaming someone else's footage and without sound. It okay, seems like that's like a new kind of bot. I haven't seen, you know, that before. That's awful. You know, just like, like make uh, people believe that they have gotten like a big and like getting excited and stuff but yeah I was a bit skeptical from the get-go <laughs> also that's uh, you know name of uh, that Felix guy uh, okay I think we have a crash <laughs> let's uh, restart the game Where is Charles Lee? It's ridiculous. Apparently, someone uh, something similar was being done, but uh, the name of fake channel was impersonating big streamers. Some people really don't have any hobbies, I think, except you know this type of stuff. Chatsy is hiding in every AC game. Just have to spot him. Alright, back into the game. We 
also just cracked the 160 hours uh, playtime. So, I guess my assumption with like 170 hours uh, wasn't too far off. Even better, I also still have to do uh, a bit of side stuff after finishing the main story. West of Uffentune. I fear the worst, but I must know. Ah, uh, now, now we got the quest. I love being extra weird today. Alright, let's, let's uh, do it. There it is. So I'm gonna quickly go and try to get these wealth opportunities again. <laughs> Toss a coin for the trader. Yeah, got a lot of those uh, Witcher references. And yeah, dude, like, the amount of content that Valhalla has, you know, I kind of expected the game to be smaller than Odyssey. But, you know, it doesn't feel like it has a bad length regardless. Like Odyssey, I was finished with the main story after 120 hours or something, and I was like so done with it. This game, I could still, you know, keep playing after all this time. Cards here are legit. Saw the title and uh, started singing the song. <laughs> Kind of with Odyssey now. Yeah, Odyssey, you know, the issue is not necessarily the length or like, you know, how big the world is. It's also that there's just not enough diversity of like uh, side activities. Like, there's actually statistics comparing Origins with Odyssey, and Origins were having less, you know, way less uh, side locations. It's like a like way bigger variety of like side activities but Odyssey has like more stuff but less variety so I think that really adds to the repetitiveness of the game I love, I love Origins. We just met uh, Leda, enjoy that mission. Yeah, Odyssey still has, you know, nice missions here and there. And it's a fun game overall. <laughs> also like the, you know, like kind of building, uh, or creating a build, I guess. And messing around with the RPG uh, aspects. Kidding me. The game crashed again? 
like 10 minutes. Jesus, Vala. What's up with you today? And uh, hey, Hero. Welcome, mate. How's it going, dude? Just uh, choke a guy out while I'm fire. Yeah, but serve a Viking way. Starting the day, very nice hero. Definitely hope you have a good, uh, good start. So, hero, have uh, have you played more Valhalla? And if yes, um, how far are you with the game? So I had enough of the crashes. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a main quest now. <laughs> I got gotcha, Shahiro. Yeah, that's completely fair. But uh, six hours already quite a good uh, playtime. I'm currently at uh, 160. Nice position, get it. <laughs> I guess you guys have the same idea there. Sorry, Hero, you, your Sumper didn't play, unfortunately. Let me do that for you. Right position, Gere. High precision, Gere. Yeah. Yeah, fair warning, but uh, we're gonna approach the last uh, stages of the main story here, at least the historical aspect. Um, so yeah, if anybody's sensitive to spoilers, uh, there's gonna be some now, I think. Do you believe the Saxon Lord? Is Uber really dead? I. A few survivors found their way to us. The great man is gone. The last vestiges of Ragnar's legacy begin to fade. We have lost many Firebloods. This land has sapped our strength. There will be too few of us to settle when we are done. Yeah, that really makes sense, you know, because Alfred uh, eventually... Uh, you know, got rid of the uh, Viking invasion and, you know, beat them. 
So her saying that there's not enough to actually settle England, you know, after all this conquest kind of makes sense. Alright, sounds good, Nessa. <laughs> I hope the um, house cleaning goes well. And uh, yeah, I try to catch you soon for uh, one of your streams. Um, Hiro or Rod, uh, could you guys uh, give a shout out to uh, Nessa? Thank you, Hiro. Yeah, Nessa is also playing AC at the moment with uh, AC Odyssey. And she also wants to play uh, Valhalla at uh, some point as well. So definitely recommend checking out her channel and uh, her community as well. And yeah, same uh, here, Rod. I like Soma a lot. I thought it was a nice, uh, you know, early storyline in Valhalla. Quite liked the uh, investigation and decision you had to make in that uh, storyline. Eivor, you made it unscathed. They came from all over England. I never thought it possible, Eivor, that you would rally Saxons and Norse under your black-feathered banner. They see the tyranny of this elf king. He would crush them all under heel and plug their hearts with his god. So what is the plan, Eivor? When is their feast day? A few nights from now, but their revelry has already begun. We should attack now. That is unwise. Soldiers pace the paths of the village. Then the night of the feast, under cover of darkness. That is when we will strike. Uba will not have died in vain. We await your instructions, Eivor. I will greet my allies first. Good. Come find us again when you are ready. All is ready, and your allies have arrived. Speak to them if you like. I'll be here when you're done. It's kind of a cool way, you know, to have like all the allies that you got throughout the game uh, to come together. It also quite reminds me of uh, Witcher 3, to be honest, because there's also a big battle happening. And uh, depending on, you know, who's your ally during the game, they're gonna appear at the battle for you. Gidrich, after Rochester, I was not sure you would come again. I've chosen my side. Who would sooner bet a hog than allow Alfred to pillage the land of love? Guthrum will trample Alfred's ambitions like weeds in the dirt. Mercia might rise further yet. <laughs> Perhaps I shall one day sit upon the throne of all England. King Giedrich the drunken ass. <laughs> I'll raise a cup to that. You soft-cheeked Anglo boys. Have you brought your mothers with you? My mother is worth ten of your men. I do not doubt it. I have seen those strong Saxon hens clucking round the hearth as you farmers play with your cocks. Ha! <laughs> and she'd welcome you in Colchester, Billy. <laughs> Better than those sour-lipped thanes who haunt our hall. Yeah, that's what uh, farmer boys do. Look, you Saxon bedwetters. Here is a real warrior. Billy, what tales are you weaving for these surf-downed Saxons? Do not make me regret supporting your Yaldum. Eivor, you know I will take your childhood scrapes and secrets to the pyre. Good. I would hate for something to happen to you in the coming fight. Ha! Such fiendish ribaldry between you two. You laugh in the face of fear. Tweak old man death's beard. I will do my mother and my lord proud today, Eivor. The lord knows... I've not been the best of sons. Good to see your spirits high. Fight well, my friends, and we'll feast together in victory. <laughs> Tefter, it is good to see you. I gave you my word. Besides, Alfred's faith is strict and he has no love for pagans. You have changed much from that god-whipped boy. That is good to see. I was always him. 
but my faith was like a veil. I am glad you helped me lift it. And now another education. You'll see how we Norse bads fight. I am all a-quiver with anticipation. Yeah, by the looks of it, it's gonna be a huge battle. We owe Eva a lot, my love. I know, I know. This last of Rey, I hope the debt will be cleared. I long to return home to our own warm hearth. I wonder if this is kind of like the battle that you see in the CGI trailer, you know? Like, maybe not exactly like that, but obviously we're riding against King Alfred. Um, and we have like all of our allies, you know, assembled. What is the soul of a man? Exactly, dude. I have to watch a trailer again. <laughs> it's just so damn good. You start in film a second sun last night. You wanna uh, start that today? Awesome hero. That's a game I also got for the PS4 already, but haven't played it yet. It looks really damn cool though. I watched uh, Morrow play uh, some of that game. There you are, Raven. Lufina, my old friend. And I see you have convinced your husband to stumble southwards. I couldn't let her carve all the glory for herself. Luvina was just boasting of her heroics in Sussex. She took the fort single-handed, while the rest of us sat back and sipped meat. You should have seen her. <laughs> I have come to make sure my warrior wife's enthusiasm for battle does not get her slaughtered. Have you ever met a woman less in need of a guardian than me, Eivor? You will have one nonetheless. <laughs> Yeah, it really has been rot. And also, like, a lot of um, unex uh, unexpected uh, plot twists. Like, they kind of start, you know, by giving you information. Like, for example, at the start where Eivor gets the uh, prophecy about him betraying Sigurd. But, you know, the way it turns out is a lot different than I expected, at least. But yeah, I don't want to go into details because spoilers, but... There's just been a lot of great situations where, you know, it really surprised me in a positive way. And the way it also connects to other games is just really well done. You just notice how much passion and care they put into the story of this game. Finir, stand tall. A light heart lifts all those around them. Ah, Eivor! Who would not be joyous, reaving at your side? And how do you feel about bringing sorrow to the Saxons on their holy day? It darkens my mood. I have learned some of the Christ Lord's teachings. He preaches peace where our gods delight in battle. Let their delights be ours, then. We have many battles to wage before the end. And I will be beside you for them all. My axe ready and my heart stout. Yeah, it really does, uh, you know, add a lot of lore. And, uh, as you say, makes it uh, stronger. Dear love, you have come again at my call. I have, but this does not sit well with me, Eivor. This is a Christian feast, and the people here are not soldiers. I come only for Alfred. Innocents will die for your ambitions. I am your ally now, but after this, I must turn back to Mercia. I have much to repent. So long as I do not lose your friendship. Your oath will be fulfilled. Eivor! It's good to see you. Erke and Stowe, I released you from your debt, and yet you came. London is quiet enough, and Stowe here felt the sharp stab of conscience. I could not let you down, Eivor. That's not what an honorable man does. So here I am, despite my reservations. And you, Broder. I did not think you would be here either. I have seen to my brother. Sent him to Valhalla with grave goods. I am done with sorrow, Eivor. Now I am bloody angry. Yeah, I can't uh, blame him. Eivor. 
Eivor, you made it unscathed. Let us speak of our plan to take Chippenham. Let us plan our approach. But whatever happens, Alfred is mine. They are not expecting us. We should not meet much resistance on the way. Then quietly through the fields. It will already be too late once they see us. Your young Saxons can be our eyes to the west. Better to keep their soft hands away from the conflict. My scouts reported that a few nobles have arrived for the festivities already. Good. If we capture the Thanes, there will be no danger when I confront Alfred. And we could persuade them to support a new king of Wessex. I will subdue the lords. Take Deolaf and Tefta with you. They could prove useful in convincing the Thanes. Rhoda, take Edkin Stowe and capture the garrison. Make quick work of any Saxons that dare cross into the village. <laughs> Gladly, Eivor. We each know our parts. May they blunt their swords against our might. Tonight, Wessex's last resistance will crumble. I follow you, Eivor. And I. Be ravening wolves and croaking ravens. Stand firm, your axe arms strong, and together, we will win this final battle. And remember, Alfred is mine. Soma, with me. Everyone else, go quickly to the village. Advance! Be on the lookout for any stray guards. Lufina, cure! Keep a strong flank! Get to the village and wait for my signal. If they see me, this will get messy. Let's smoke the rat out of his guard's house! Huh. Already running? <laughs> I haven't even done anything. Guess we're gonna do something now. my torch did you think my king would turn his back on you Eivor when your knife is smeared with the blood of Werum stand aside Goodwin I come for Alfred Alfred is long gone and this good Christian feast a cup of honey wine to trap some wasps where is he calling his allies to his side all those who wish to see Wessex under one God you cannot win England with your sorry crew of deluded farmers and Odin godless fools. Odin with us! At least I wouldn't leave them to die as I scurried through the corn husks like a rat. You have no understanding of duty, the loyalty I freely give. His plan for England, for the world, is worth the cost of my life. Then sing your tuneless hymns. Come, Raven Feeder. Do your worst. Oh, I will. Because Odin is with us. I have no fear of death, for this battle is only the beginning. Only darkness will come to claim you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. Ich war noch kurz <lacht> Kauterwett. You are beaten, Goodwin. Beaten? No, not so. By my death, my lord may live. Alfred used you, fool. He threw you in my path. For what? He only delays what is inevitable. Kill me then. It makes no odds. For here you stand, bloody and breathless, no closer to my king, no closer to his throne. This island will never be your home, Eivor. You will not subdue her with vicious force or win her with cocksure words. We Saxons will always stand firm, shoulder by shoulder against thieves and tyrants whose envious eyes fall upon England. Oh, we can kill him or we can use him. Passion that youth has, it is inspiring. <laughs> it can be Mona. And yeah, that hellfire, I was like, okay, let me try to counter that. Well, never mind. The trade is a good win. Thank you, Rod. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess I don't really gain anything from killing him here, do I? Let's take him with us. No. I will use you as you used me. A few hours in the company of my men, and you will lead us to your Sparrow King. That I cannot allow. He's gonna kill himself? Wow. Fighting with the rest! Oh, 
Also, what did that uh, soldier of us do in the background of Soma? You know, he was just like standing there watching Soma die. Maybe he just, you know, appeared there randomly or something. Did you see Alfred? He was like, come on, help, help Soma. Hold these men back. I'll find them. Hunwald, come get up. This is no time for weep wailing. I. I cannot. And there is a blackness closing in around. Hunwald, listen to me. You survived the Battle of Bottlestun. Do not let this scratch best you now. I'm so cold. As winter comes so soon. You will warm yourself with mead and dancing yet, my friend. Perhaps not, Ava. It may be I will sit beside my father soon. Will he be proud of me? He will pull you to his breast. Sob bright words of welcome and... Until you no man ever had a worthier son. I am glad to have known you, Eivor. My truest... Man, why does everybody have to die? For Soma, at now Hunwald. There was nothing more you could have done. Friendship has a hollow ring if there's no threat of losing it. I should check on Guthrum at the feast hall. First, you're gonna save Broda. Yeah, Rod, no kidding. Didn't expect this to happen like this. Alfred is gonna pay for this. Even if, you know, historically he's gonna survive, I guess, but. I'm gonna make somebody pay. Rhoda, what can I do? Hey, Lord! The garrison has more commanders than we hoped! We may not be as slaughtered! I will find a way to open the gates from the inside! Hurry! These waves of reinforcements are hell sent! Coming for you! Blame Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, everybody should die some bad uh, show. The garrison stays under our control. I need to help the others. I should check on Guthrum at the feast hall. I want to free you. It seems like I can't.
They're weakened! Let us finish this! off to do an install. Cheers all. Alright, sounds good Mona. I hope everything goes well and uh, thank you so much for coming by and uh, joining as always. I hope you have a great day Mona. It was a really weird animation hero. <laughs> I've been, I have it happening a couple of times, but not uh, you know that often after like close to each other. They are routed. The city is ours. Wessex will follow. Good from y'all. We are not without losses. Some of them grave. Their king is fled. His paths he struck down. Defeat rings loud in their ears, and I will be their lord before the spring is here. Good from hear me. Soma is. She's gone. Soma? Dead? She has gone to the endless feast, and she is the better for it. Okay, Ufram is a dick. I think he's uh, a traitor or something. And it makes sense, you know, because um, as I mentioned earlier, historically, Ufram was an actual, you know, Viking that uh, got converted to Christianity by Alfred. And we did tell him he had a situation earlier where he said that he swore on the cross, you know, which could be that historic effect. But I think there may be more to it. I think he may be, I don't know, you know, he definitely cares a lot more about, you know, getting to be the king of Wessex than he cares about the people we fight with. And honestly, that just makes me dislike him. Maybe he's just trying to use us and our support, you know, to get his uh, place as a king. I must speak to those still living. The cat. Lufina. Gods, I... I did not know. Is, is he...? Hush. 
What good can words do, Havor? Keep to silence. He is gone. For what days I was given to spend with you. For each breath that carried your sweet whispers. I give thanks. No more. Your fingers in my hair. No more your arms around my waist. The days will be cold hereafter. All color dimmed. Goodbye, my only. My heart ends with you. What is left will go on. Fuck's sake, he also died. Way too many deaths for, you know, only killing Goodwin, essentially. And Goodwin just killed himself, so... The only one who seems happy is, you know, Gufferon. And, uh, welcome back, Snake. Um, you don't need the ship. You can just go inside the location and uh, blow the horn to uh, start a raid, I think. Your first battle, Illerich. You fought well and with honor. Is this the glory you deign seek? You can keep it. I saw Hoonwall die. The light dim in his eyes. That could have been me. You will never be the same. But you will be stronger for it. I have wasted so much time in pouting like a child. No more, Eivor. No more. Uh, what about them, Snake? Erke, you wear a furrowed brow. Stow is taking matters hard. You know how sensitive he is. A man of faith and stout morals. Small wonder he is tormented. His support for you has taxed him hard. I will take him back to London. Maybe he will find some comfort there. You are his comfort, Erke. Not the city you watch. He is in good hands. Ah, so you mean like you wanna do a raid place completely by yourself? Yeah, usually um, you can uh, bypass these force open doors. Like there's uh, usually another way in. If not, then you know, you can always like stealth, uh, assassinate everybody and then call your crew to like loot and ransack. But yeah, I would just look for alternative ways, if you want to do it stealthily. My thanks, though. You came to my aid when you were free to turn away. And still it breaks my heart to look upon what we've done today. Was it the right choice? I do not know. But it is done now. If Alfred had his way, there would never be friendship between Norse and Saxon. You fought for peace. Be proud of that. I wish I could. And in time, perhaps I will. It is done, Brodia. You fought well. I saw him, Havor. In my darkest moment, Brodir stood beside me, and all was as it used to be. And then the battle ended. I feel him no longer. There will be other battles. Aye. And there you'll find me, Havor. In amongst the blood and death. Brothir at my shoulder. Until the Valkyries claim me. You have given me more than I would ever have asked for. How will I repay it? Keep him in your thoughts. For when a man is mourned, his deeds cheered and his songs sung, he cannot die. Do you think there will come a day when winning will not be enough? 
Well, you can always fight with me if you want to taste crushing and loin-soiling defeat. My very presence would make that impossible. Enjoy this victory, Eivor, wherever it brings you. Only a coward thinks you live forever. My heart is heavy. Many fought for us and died. They deserve peace. Are you ready to honor them? Yes. There's nothing more to say. Time to send our friends to their great reward. Will you do the honors? Nothing awaits them. They lived, they died, and now their bodies will burn to cinders. Their saga ends here. Well, do not share that with them. Victory is ours. But it came at a great cost. Soma Yalskona, who stood at Guthrum's right hand. She will live on in our memories, from now to the end of days. And to your warrior, husband, and a friend, he made the ultimate sacrifice. I here repay it. And to Hunwald, whose kind heart has now led him to his father's side. May his God welcome him with open arms. Let us send them on their way. All our beloved dead, our fallen warriors, and speed them to their end. Music for so damn good. And uh, Yen of Earth's hero. I hope you enjoy your breakfast. Guthrum. When the Reeve died, did he take comfort in knowing he would soon see his god? He was strangely peaceful in the end, as if death meant nothing. We stumble through our years, ravenous, grasping, spilling blood, stealing gold, and it is never enough. This life is never enough. Would it not suit you to know there is something beyond all this? Not war and valor. But quiet and peace? I think... I think the afterlife men hope for is only a reflection of their regret in this life. All I wish for now is to live among the friends I've made. That is what counts. Alfred made me swear fealty upon the cross of their god's son. He held such faith in it. A plain, unadorned thing. It burned between my fingers. As if I had pulled it from the fire. A feeling strange and powerful, but gone in an instant. I have not felt its like before. What will you do now? Whatever I must do. England is my final home, Eivor. And I will do what it takes to remain.
I should return to Swanborough and tell her of Hunwald's fate. Better the news comes from me than a stranger. Okay, <clears throat> so what Ava said just now was really damn good. Just really showing his, uh, you know, character progression. Obviously, after what we saw the last time in Valhalla, you know, with Yggdrasio and Valhalla, uh, made Ava realize, you know, that uh, he only really has this life, I guess. And that he should, you know, rather concentrate on moves around him than, like, you know, a fantasy or illusion. Um, so yeah, it's just really damn well done, you know, how he says that he uh, cares more about his friends than, you know, what could happen after this life. And what I also find interesting is, you know, how he says, like Uthrum says, England is my final home and I would uh, do whatever it takes to remain. Yeah, as I mentioned a couple of times, you know, historically, I think he remains by going over to Christianity. So I still don't really trust Govrum, to be honest. But yeah, we just have to see what, what happens. Yes, yeah, Snake, um, as I mentioned a couple of times, uh, this is the ending, sh are the ending chapters of uh, Valhalla. So, um, we're almost done with it. So if you don't want to get spoiled or something, <laughs> probably best uh, to um, watch something else. Of course I'm quite sure there's gonna be lots of spoilers coming in now. Well, I did finish the main story of uh, modern day I think, but uh, there's still the star chapter in uh, Hamptonshire. Great, and now we have to uh, announce who wants death to Swamboro. Eivor, good to see you. This is gonna break my heart. Eivor? Swanboro, I... No. Gods, no, don't say it, please, Eivor. Don't say it. I am sorry. Oh! My own... No! My poor swan! Oh, gods! He fought bravely and turned the tide to secure victory. Your dear Hunwald died a hero and will be so remembered. Oh, gods. I know he would have fainted to hear such praise from your lips. Thank you, Eivor. Thank you. He walks among warriors now. Yes. The lucky man. I imagine he does. I know words are poor salve for a wounded heart. I will leave you to mourn and know that we are here for you, always, should you need us. Who is this? Uh, that's the widow of uh, Hunward. Yeah, he really did rot. 
voice acting has been uh, fantastic in this game. Also, you know how he does like multiple roads, also Odin and of course uh, Baron, his father. And how he manages to make all of them, you know, sound different yet similar. Ah, hey, my boy. Okay, I'm gonna report to Randy first, I think. And uh, then we're gonna talk to Hyphen. Yeah, it really does, Rod. I would love for him to come back for another role, but I guess, you know, him being an actual actor, uh, he does like have a lot of uh, to see you, Eivor. jobs to work on. Alright, sounds good, Snake. Have a good walk and uh, enjoy. Hampton Shire has fallen, and with it, the kingdom of Wessex. But the cost was great, maybe too great for all we gained. Rest then, you have earned it. On the backs of so many. Time will tell if it was worth it. You have pacified all of England, but you have not yet seen all the wonders of this world. Explore further to keep your saga going. Upgrade the settlement. Hunt the remaining beasts and stuff like that. Right. It would be uh, so cool if he were to return in a future game as a descendant of Eivor. Dude, I would love to see that. What I also love about Eivor is not only like for voice acting, but also, um, you know, what he says. Like, that he's a very poetic character. And I think Magnus really does an awesome job, you know, also like, kind of speaking, like, you know, it really flows and. It's, it's, but it sounds authentic, you know. Should we take this to your chamber? Hmm. No need. <laughs> Hi, I'm still waiting. Yeah, just give us uh, another hour or two. Austin, it's with us! <laughs> Indeed. I also like how she says, no need. I was like, wait, are you, uh, you know, denying us? Well, she wasn't. Also, hey, uh, Fat, welcome. Thank you for following. and uh, talk to Hyphen. Something for me. What is it? A letter requesting your presence in the southwest, a village called Athelny. Nothing strange about a summons for me, is there? It is not the recipient I find strange. It is the sender. The letter is signed a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Ah, our mysterious partner. For a short time, I hoped it might be Bassam feeding us the names of these targets. 
He seemed the most likely man, for a time. Only one way to discover the truth. Thank you, Hytham. I will take care of this. So one thing I wondered is, you know, that Hytham didn't really... Like, there was no real confrontation with Eivor between Hytham and him regarding what happened to Basim. And you would expect there was, but it seems they kind of, like, skip that part. A letter from the poor fellow soldier of Christ, Eivor of Raven Clan of Mercia. The order of ancients is all but destroyed, and your good works in England are all but complete. One heathen yet remains, the Grand Magister of this contemporary order. Should you wish to finish your work, come to FNA in the northwest of Hamptonshire, and we will discuss the means by which you may find this last elusive target. Blessings upon you, poor fellow soldier of Christ. Let's go ahead and uh, meet this guy. Let's get out of here. Run up the sails. Strike up a tune. Is there a cease called among you? Yeah, that looping music glitch. I think it's preventing uh, our guys from singing a song and uh, telling a story as well. Like that music will haunt me in my uh, dreams. Hole. Let's go. Down. 
Alright, I guess it's time to find out who the father of the Order of the Ancients is. Yes, hello. I do not mean to intrude, but I am looking for someone. And who would that be, then? I... I do not know exactly. Well, that would be why you ain't found him. But you're free to pass the time just here, if you like. Thank you. Where is Charles Lee? Where is he? <laughs> Your soul cakes, love. Do you know soul cakes? I do, I enjoy them. They're small things, size of a lumpy fist, so they'll bake fast. Keep your eyes sharp. And the butter, do I baste them? No need, love. We we'll leave the butter for meal time. I look forward to it. Right then. I'll leave you to this. If you need me, I'll be doing the washing up next door. Quite a step down from your former work, Lord. As their guest, I volunteer to help with the daily chores. They offer me a bed. I tend the cakes. Do they not feel strange giving orders to their king? Or do they know? That knowledge would benefit no one. I read your message. You went through a great deal of trouble to obscure yourself as this poor soldier of Christ. As I remember, you even sent yourself one of these letters in Winchester. A clever touch. The Order wanted me dead. I had to be careful. You said you knew nothing about the Order then. Pled ignorance. But you knew everything. Their names. Their schemes. Would you join me for a walk? So this is quite funny because, uh, again, you know, him attending to the cakes is a historical reference because uh, there's like a saga about Alfred and, you know, historians still debate if it's true or not. It's just like, you know, I've written down like 50 to 100 years after his uh, lifetime. But uh, he got to a village and should attend the cakes because nobody knew that he was King Alfred. And then he ended up uh, burning the cake, you know, kind of like symbolizing that... He may be a man of power, but he didn't know how to, like, you know, do, like, basic things like cooking or baking. <laughs> it's kind of funny how they, uh, you know, pick that up in this game by, you know, him being here. Ah, kind of interesting how they did uh, lots of historical references to, uh, to Alfred so far. I am. The wars have ended, and my settlement thrives. The wars have not ended. You have simply stopped fighting. But men are brewing plots in mead halls and bedrooms. You will see. And how are you, Alfred? Getting used to the idea of being unremarkable? I am well. Better than I expected. In this exile, I have found a somewhat nourishing peace. Each morning, I am awakened by the sun and growling cormorants. I bathe in the chilly water of the marsh. I eat from shrubs and drink from buckets. It is a good life. Simple. Blessed. I've never been so far west. I find it quite peaceful here. Calming. I have traveled a long way to hear one name, Alfred. Who is the Order's Grand Magister? Tell your shadowy friends that England is swept clean. Your work is done. You? Grand Magister was not a title I desired. It passed to me on the death of my brother. From my father before him. 
defilers of God's majesty and grandeur. I was their master, and I loathed them. With Goodwin, I set a plan in motion to destroy the order from within. But my troubles with the Danes delayed that plan. But your trouble with this Dane was what led to their demise. You are Norse, are you not? You have a good year. I owe you my thanks, Eivor. For that, I give you this. The key to my study. That you may better understand the good you have done. With the order all but destroyed, you have made room for a greater idea. One to take its place. A universal divine order. Inspired by God for the betterment of man. With a poor fellow soldier at its head. You have saved England. Whether or not that was your intent. Now let England save you. What a bunch of bullocks. England Us. is no more, Lord. You are the last of her kings. And yet you have no kingdom. Look around you. God's works are wondrous. They cannot be ignored. Nor resisted. In time, all those who accept God will flourish, and all those who defy him will fall away. Should you remain in England, you too will one day be her subject. Oh, bloody crumbs! The cakes are burnt! Where is that man? Young man, where have you gone? Damn. That may have earned me a night of washing linens. I do not know if we shall meet again, Eivor. God willing, we will. As one lord to another, perhaps. I'm coming, my lady. I'm here. Okay, I don't really... You know, obviously, this is... Hinting towards something I've been, you know, expecting. Which is that the Order of Ancients makes room for the Templar Order. Or, you know, a very early form of it. Alfred gave me a key to unlock his study. Somewhere in Winchester. And you know, it really hits towards that uh, that to happen. But what I don't get is how's Eivor so happy about this? You know, obviously he cares more about the ones that actually did bad in the order. But you know, there's no doubt that Alfred has been heavily manipulating A4 at the one around them. It's kind of a situation in like an Odyssey, you know, with uh, um, Aspasia. She's like the one to, you know, create or to kind of like bring people together to create a new order out of the kite of cosmos. But, you know, Alfred, he kind of planned this whole ambush against us, you know, in uh, Wessex. He's kind of the reason that Soma, Hunward, and, you know, uh, Shaw died. I really don't get how Evo can be so happy with Alfred. You know, like obviously the plus point for Alfred is he's been helping us dismantle the order, but only so he can create, you know, <laughs> the uh, Templar order, most likely. Um, but yeah, maybe, you know, Eivor realizes what he's done once he go to the study. Also, like a big snake. I hope you had a nice uh, walk with uh, the dog. You don't think Eivor really cares, he's just helping Ivan? I don't know. I think uh, him taking out the order was more than just, you know, helping Ivan. Because obviously with him taking like uh, Sigurd and all that... Um, it kind of got personal. I guess. Alright, so I guess it's time to return the Madeongs to Hyvem. But first I wanna go into his uh No matter, just let him cool and we'll begin again. Direct me and I will obey. Like where's the study of uh, Alfred, I wonder?
dachte ich es in Winchester. Okay. Now. Oh, you're telling me I now have a bug with uh, the fast shuffle? Okay, that was a great song and a very nice variation of the main theme because it was kind of like a mashup between, you know, Aina Selvig singing and uh, I should talk to Aitham. and of course like main theme instrumentation. Ah, and now I can fast travel rod. Let's have a look. Yeah, I could. So to my you say there's a place in the marsh that I should have a look at? Alright, um, if that's the case, I'm gonna go back, but um, I will see if I can find it myself. Yeah. If it's like, you know, a place worth checking out. I assume you mean uh, the marshes around uh, the village?
Survey the area, Sunan. What do you see? to run their foot. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, I don't really have an idea, you know, what I'm looking for. Sue River, you say. Alright, let's have a look over there.
nearing the Avon River at Uffentune. This was where Alfred set the battle with Upper took place. Ah. Thank you for that demise. I thought you would have uh, missed this. Upper. So Alfred spoke true. May you join your brother, old friend, wherever he found his final peace. Rest well, my friend. Jesus, he got massacred. A scroll with King's seal. Lord Otta, you are uh, to take the Danes dock near within tune at once. Explifly and with a fear of God in your heart. Send word once the battle is won and Wessex is self. Saved. Alfred Drax. So um, Alfred ordered uh, these guys to kill Uber. You know, that's why I don't get why Ava was that happy, you know, with uh, with Alfred at the end there. Like, you know, obviously this we found out afterwards, so maybe, you know, this is supposed to happen afterwards. Uh, but also, you know, the fact that Soma and all the others died because of Alfred and Ava was like, yeah, you know, go ahead. <laughs> Create your new order. Like for fuck's sake, I just wanna kill uh, Alfred. But yeah, it makes sense, you know, because he doesn't die until 99. Let's go ahead and uh, bring these medallions back to Hyvem. Demise after a mission there ended for you, it was dark out and there was so much fog and that music was playing. You got it on your horse and rode through the bog and found that it was quite sad. Yeah, it definitely is. The way, you know, Opa died. I'm not sure if you have gone back there, but you can visit Eivor's childhood home in Norway. Yeah, I think I visited it um, at the start of the game. Like, it was one of the early locations uh, I went to, I think. Not sure if there's like another interaction uh, at the end of the game, maybe. But uh, I did go there at the start of the game. Kind of gave me a bit like Origins vibes, you know, where you can go to uh, Bike's home. Kind of see the state uh, it is in. Between you and me, Aver, always thought you'd be a good child. About you and Bridget, when do you wish to be wed? The sooner I can make her my wife, the happier I will be. But we are fine to wait until everything has settled here. Um... Okay, I'm gonna deliver the uh, seeds first. But we're gonna do the wedding, for sure. I have a few things to attend to. But we will see you married soon enough. We will be ready when you are. I must take my leave. So long. Put that gear to good use out there. Yeah, let's go to Hyphen first. Good day to you, Eivor. Eivor. Did Basim contact you in Norway? He said he would be joining you. Yet here you are, and I have no word from him. Hytham, this will be hard to hear, but Basim attacked us in Norway. 
vengeance for some transgression of ours, imagined or real. You mean... You mean you slew him yourself? Sigurd and I, together. I know this comes as a... I do not understand. Why would he do such a thing? He loved Sigurd, he loved you. I do not understand it myself. Perhaps one day we can speak about this with more clarity. But for now, I am deeply sorry. Okay, so that's the dialogue I thought we actually skipped, but uh, here we are. And uh, hey Luna, thank you for the follow. Kind of curious that uh, Eivor says that they slew him because, you know, obviously they just put him into the uh, Tree of Life. Also, Eivor definitely understands at least a little bit about this, right? Maybe he just doesn't want to share everything with Hytham? Here you are, Hytham. The last of the Order's sigils. You will find King Alfred's among them. King Alfred? Did our poor fellow soldier lead you to his hiding place? He did, for they were one and the same. Our poor fellow soldier of Christ was the Grand Magister of the Order of the Ancients. He turned on his own order. Fascinating. Not turned so much as trampled. His devotion to Christ and what he calls a universal order set him against them from the start. With all sincerity, he loathed the title and the duty he had inherited and wished them destroyed. Wonderful. With his abdication, the last stronghold of the order has been dismantled. All that remain are scraps here and there. And you, Eivor. Now that you have seen our enemy and you understand our cause, I wonder if you would join us. Become a hidden one. Was this your ultimate goal, Hytham? A trial by fire? It is a kind offer, but I do not believe we fight for quite the same cause. Your creed demands that you keep your triumphs hidden. I prefer my glory to be in plain view for all to see. If I taught you our creed, if you spent time with it, it could open your mind to another view. Another view is always welcome. But to live without celebrating one's glory and honor and achievements is not a life for me. But know this. I would give my life in a moment for those I love and who love me in return. All here. Including you, my friend. I understand you well, Eivor. Very well indeed. Alright, there you go. So Eivor doesn't become a hidden one. Which doesn't surprise me necessarily. Um, but I think it very well makes sense, you know, it starts with a beginning where Eivor already decides to, you know, display his sin blade rather than hide it. That's a, get, a very good um, analogy for, um, you know, his way of life, I guess. And... Yeah. I still think, you know, that doesn't mean he doesn't have to be a hidden one, you know, only because he's, like, more open. Because, obviously, there have been a multitude of assassins that, uh, you know, had, like... That kind of came from all uh, ways of life and, you know, had, like, different ways to go about it. A good example is uh, Mario Auditoro and his brother Giovanni. Because uh, Giovanni, you know, was, like... Then there was society, build up a fake identity, and, you know, really hide in plain sight. Whereas Mario was like, I don't care, you know, I'm an assassin, and I'm gonna stand by it, and I'm gonna be here in Monteregioni, which, you know, is an assassin stronghold. And I will also fight in the open for this cause. So obviously there have been very different, you know, types of assassins. And I think Avril could still fit into it. Um, if you would want to. Um, honestly, I think it's good they don't give you a choice, Snake, because um, I think it's important for the law to make clear that, you know, Eivor isn't a hidden one or not. If you have a choice, then it becomes diluted again and nobody knows for sure what actually happens. And I think it's a major thing, you know, Eivor being an assassin or not, so... I'm kind of glad they don't give you a choice. I 
have to go. Then go in peace. All right. I guess I guess it's time to speak to Gunnar so we can begin the wedding preparations. Let's do that. Eivor, good to see you. I am... Uh, uh, did you want something, or...? I was wondering... What's wrong? Bridget and I were thinking, with everything calming down the way it has, maybe you could find a spare moment, then. You want to be married? Yes, uh, to each other. Yes, I imagined. Gunnar, to see you so happy has been a pleasure, and to marry you would be an honor. Shall I put out a call to any friends abroad? I'll be honest, Eivor. I came here with a lot of you, because nothing and no one kept me back there. The Raven Clan is all the family I need. And Bridget too. From all she said, she's better off here than with those she calls kin. Just a couple of foundlings we are. Then let's not bother with tradition. If you have your bride and your blade, we will see you wed. As Jarl, I do it gladly. About you and Bridget, when do you wish to be wed? The sooner I can make her my wife, the happier I will be. But we are fine to wait until everything has settled here. Enough waiting. Cool your forge and cover your anvil. Let's get you married. Wonderful. Shall we gather everyone? Gather your wife and your courage. I will bring the people together. I am honored to stand before you, Gunnar, Bridget, on this bountiful day. To celebrate the strength of your bond and to see you wed. I am in witness of a love that inspires and empowers. I invite you now to speak your vows. To you, my darling Bridget, I offer this blade, forged in flames that burned as brightly as my heart does for you. A blade as sharp as your wit, as glinting as your beauty. May it sing through the air as sweetly as your voice meets my ears. Dio, see you did carry Tsiganar. To never am Lucas, would be the daughter he to tea and Harriet. And I, you, I give you my sword and my promise that I will stand at your side forever. Heed for the Pradoichu and future and heed at the sword Tawalok and hope a premonition. On the mount of scrying a foresight, Paratoivi is sweeping adventure and meeting tea. Tiur enoid fel demaral, a dyn a strong a buretiki, a gfel as i fiers, mae'r calon yn hedfan dyreti. Such poetry, oh dear, you make me cry, my... Let us hedfan efyn gilydd, tro bywyd yn beyond. I offer you this ring, and take yours in kind. I will wear it with pride and honor, warmed by the love of so perfect a lady. And I whisk of a Valkalon, adoration a fee than Bith. This is the greatest day of my life. Embrace me, my love. <laughs> With our couple now bonded in matrimony, now we drink. Of course we drink.
wanna get married to Renvi. Would be a bit awkward for Sigurd Vo, but he's gonna be alright. <laughs> yeah, everybody's like, what did she say? How are the marriage customs in your country, Hytham? Something like this? Like this in all the most important ways. There are smiles, cheers, and warm embraces. All that is needed, I think. Indeed, Hytham. Volker, I want to thank you for all you've done for me. My visions have lessened of late, and I... Well, I find it hard to explain how different I feel. Grounded. Unified. At peace. That is good to hear, Eivor. Very good to hear. Ah, Reda. What are you doing, mate? You've been among us for quite some time, Reda. Are you ready to settle? Make a home here? For a year or two, perhaps. But I am not the settling kind. I am a wanderer. Always searching, never finding. Maybe one day. Better street. <laughs> Yeah, we need the game like this. Stop looking. Um, it's eleven tablets, snake. Alvis, I'm surprised you did not serenade the bride and groom with a verse or two. Oh, I wished to. I did, but all that came to me were insults and jibes. Another time, I think. It is a strange feeling, brother. Weddings are the beginning of something, but this feels like something of an end. The first happy union in our home. We have matured into something greater. So yes, a beginning and an end, I think. Gunner, you old trout. You're a married man. Never thought I would see the day. Nor did I. And not for lack of trying. Richard, I gift you a formal welcome to our clan and our family. You are a fine addition to Gunnar's life and to ours. Dear Javier, I couldn't be more happy to see Hope you now wash in a case me so the years. Yes, of course. I, uh, as I say, it is wonderful to have you. <laughs> I've said that. It's like I understand like every fourth word or something of what she says. But yeah, she did say thank you, so that's the important thing. Randvi, saw you looking a little lonely. Thought I might come and join you. How nice. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I never thought I would see gruff old Gunner so enraptured by a woman. Enraptured by anything for that matter. He's a hard one to read. But I am pleased for him, and for this day of rest and respite. After everything, a few days of feasting will do the people some good. They need this. They do. Will you walk with me? Anywhere. Lead on. Something has been on my mind for some time. I am no seer, but I foresaw this day long ago. Not Gunnar's marriage, but our situation. Our success. How do you mean our success? I mean to say that I saw our settlement flourishing through our victories in war and in diplomacy. And from the day we set out from Norway, I knew that you would make a fitter leader than Sigurd. It was never in his character to lead. It was always within yours. I see. Do you? You might have warned me. You would not have listened. Fair. I do hope you see it now, in all that you have done for us. Randvi, you and the people here have done more for me than I could ever repay. I am honored by your faith in me. And your confidence. As I am honored by your love. And I by yours. Eivor, 
Eivor, I want you to know that Sigurd and I are... We are severing the bonds of our marriage. We share a love that is steadfast, and I have faith it will forever be so, but my heart is yours. That much he knows. And I believe he is happy for us. Are you sure? Sigurd's desires are bigger than any man or woman can offer. He longs for something more. Something only he can find. All he wants is far, far away. All I need is right here. It's like one of my favorite lost stories in AC so far, I think, between Eivor and Renvi. Shall we find our way back to the wedding? Bridget might give another speech. We must not miss that. About that, I have not understood a single word of her since Gloucestershire. Really? I find she speaks beautifully. With poetry, even. Are you kidding? Am I? Come, we should go. Also, that music bugs in the background. <laughs> it's like totally unfitting music. I really hope they're gonna fix it at some point because that thing has been a bug since the launch. Okay, how about you actually go ahead and save very quick. And reload. Just, just to see if it kind of fixes uh, you know, that music bug. There's like a glitch happening for music to just loop uh, Snake. So the track that you just heard in the background, like these drums, uh, they are kind of like uh, repeat themselves over and over, even through cutscenes and other stuff. I've been happening at least three times already. And I had like an entire stream where I basically had to listen to that. At some point I just ended up uh, turning on some soundtrack myself and muting the in-game music. Oh, it seems like it's fixed. Nice. I wanna dance as well. Renly is also dancing. Our dancing we can do. Oh. Soma device? You mean uh, Renvi?
Oh là. Ah, I see. <laughs> it's kind of funny how every time we wake up, we're just like completely wasted. Good day, my love. Um, I think the Yule Festival is still there for today or something. But yeah, it should uh, disappear very soon. But uh, yeah guys, I think this is all the main story that we have in the game. Of course we still have uh, to reach sediment level 6, however to get that we need a bit more supplies. I think another 600 or something. I guess a way to get this uh, would be to um, just uh, collect uh, a couple of these uh, spawner chests. Should we take this to your chamber? Hmm. No need. Yeah, they kind of removed the uh, uh, the um, timer, but they did give us a notice uh, two days ago that uh, it's gonna disappear within like 48 hours or something. So it should disappear today or tomorrow. Good day to you. Also, Luna, fast Wi-Fi. Thank you for following. You and Petra chasing a white elk in the woods high as wispy clouds, my god! I could barely breathe for laughing. Impressive. Never seen anything like it. But water spite. I brought something for you. I'd pay well for this. Yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Winchester and check out the uh, study of Alfred. And we always have need for this. I'm gonna take care of uh, some of these delivery requests because they're also required for 100%. I think. And of course, we still have to get uh, quite a lot of uh, hot maps because I haven't done them at uh, like at some point. I just stopped doing them, <laughs> so I have to solve quite a few of them. I'm looking for this. But yeah, let's go ahead and deliver some brown uh, fur. Good. This will help the settlement. Some harem beak. Bringing me this would be helpful. Some hair foot. This will be a great help. Quite a lot of stuff we still have to hunt. I could really use this. Nothing else. I will see you later, friend. Until next time. Right. Let's go ahead and check out the study of uh, Alfred. I'm pretty sure it was in the old minster. Mind me.
Was it in here? Yeah, there's something. This is it, Alfred's study. What secrets has he kept hidden away? Letter from Goodwin. King Alfred. The Spice and Mercy report on a curious development. A faction of Norse recently joined the brothers Ivar and Uba in a decisive assault on Tamworth, deposing King Bogret and installing a foolish king's van called Cheerwolf in his stead. In following these Norse back to their settlement, you men discover the presence of a hidden one among the pagans who call himself Hyvim. He seems in rather good graces with the two chieftains of his clan, Sigurd uh, Bjornsson and Eivor Varenstodir. So by the way, this is kind of a hint towards Eivor being uh, a woman, canonically, because uh, Dottir stands for daughter, like daughter of Varen. And apparently both genders are not canon, but only female is. That's something I'm again unhappy with how they did it. Um, because obviously both genders are not canon. They're canon for the choice that you have in the game. Like, you know, it makes sense that you have a choice. Because it's kind of like Odin's DNA, for, you know, coming into place. And that explains why you have like a male choice. Um... But I just wish they would stick to one gender, to be honest. Like, I love the male, gen uh, male A4 and his voice actor. But I don't think it was as ingenious as they said it was. You know, this whole, like, choice thing. It does make more sense than, uh, you know, Odyssey did it. With, like, having two separate characters that just, like, switch roles, even though, you know... Alexios is Demos. Um, but yeah. Not too happy with how they did it. Um, as yet his motives remain unclear, but it may be we can put him to uses of our own. Our poor fellow soldier of Christ has already sent word of the Order's activities to the luminaries of England's major cities. It may be a well-timed letter to Hyvum, and his companions will speed along our plans uh, considerably. Your faithful servant, Reeve Goodwin. Um, so yeah, when I heard uh, female Eva first, I definitely preferred the male version. But uh, seeing some, uh, you know, gameplay of uh, people who chose female Eva, I think she definitely grows on me. Like, I don't dislike her or anything. But I might still prefer uh, the male Eivor. Um, Alfred's commentaries. I awoke this morning thinking of Alcuin's final letter to Charlemagne. Written in fear that the Order has corrupted all but his master. Then, dead a week later. Did Charlemagne know that the Order corrupted him as well? Did he order the holy man's death? Or did the great emperor not see this letter at all? Long ago, I asked my father how this extraordinary document came into his possession. He had no answer for me. I fear the worst then, as I do now. But Wardley, Charlemagne was a pious defender of Christ's word. It seems impossible to believe he was under the sway of this corrupted cult. But the order is expert at hiding its motives. It has stooped to using the Christ's word and the holy book as a front for its blasphemous goals before and the appearance of piety is all too easy to manufacture. Hoist the Bible aloft on the steps of a church and claim divine inspiration. I must be vigilant against such villains. The Order of Ancients argues for a hierarchy that flies in the face of God's purpose. They view man and woman as the base and corrupt, born of evil intent. Yet they worship men they believe were um, makers. Akin to a hammer loving the nail, they cannot see outside their own uh, hermetic system. They are not wrong to believe that there must be uh, order in the world for peace to flourish, but they are wrong about the source of this order. Man was made in the image of God. 
God is the source of the universe order. Therefore, men need to appear only to God for guidance. In a strange irony, I am grateful for the Danes and the invasion of Northumbria. My title should have gone to Ella. Being dead, it fell to my brother and then to me. God's unlikely gift. I will use it to destroy what I loathe so deeply about the sickening order and start afresh. Goodwin is with me, as are men on this continent. I will soon find others. The Order often blesses their pagan creators, what they call the Father of Understanding, the Mother of Wisdom, the Sacred Voice. These are vile blasphemies. There is only one Father of Understanding. He is the Lord above. He is the, of, uh, he is the Order Incarnate. Uh, the Order Incarnate. Therefore may the Father of Understanding be this and not else, the invisible hand that plucks harmony from the strings of the universe, nothing more. Let all remaining pagan bl uh, blasphemies wither into dust. Henceforth, I am to improve our lot by harmonizing the average man with the order of the universe, to walk him down a quiet road, to lead him to safe and sober thoughts, to quiet his mind and cool his impas uh, impassioned heart. This is from uh, Blackfag, by the way. Uh, be he God fearing or godless, this new order will encompass all and seek to improve man by aligning his needs with the ebb and flow of nature itself. This is my hope. This is my vow. Amen. So yeah, you know, this is clearly um, a reference to the order, you know, the Templar order creating. And what's interesting is it kind of, uh, you know, gives us an answer as to how the uh, Father of Understanding changed meaning, you know. Um, for the Order of the Ancients, it was like, you know, the leader uh, of the Order, I guess. You know, uh, back then it was, I guess, uh, Caesar, you know, being understood as like the Father of Understanding. Uh, then it also, you know, then it kind of like changed, I guess, to uh, just God and the Christian God. And it makes sense because the uh, Templar Order, of course, you know, is a Crusader Order that... Uh, you know, went into war for, you know, reasons of faith, I guess. And Alfred very much was, uh, you know, a super Christian leader and king. You know, that's why he forced people to uh, convert to Christianity. So that's really interesting how, you know, this like, uh, I guess Christianity just has been influencing the Templar Order. And it just makes sense. Unless, uh, you heard the voice and, uh, of the actor and they made her do a more male, uh, gravelly tone to her voice for the whole thing. It would have been good with the voice actor's plain voice. Um, I mean, yeah, I did uh, hear her, you know, do interviews and I did notice that her voice was quite different. But... <laughs> I kind of believe, you know, that it's alright to change your voice because that's why it's called voice acting, I guess. Because, you know, you can talk in all kinds of ways. And I guess they just wanted to make her sound more rough because she's a Viking woman. Um, honestly, I don't dislike that aspect, you know, because I feel like Ava on the other hand sounds a bit more uh, soft-spoken. But I feel like that's a good, a good uh, contrast to me, you know. If I don't try to sound exactly the same, but she's like more rough and he's more soft. But I just have to see, I have to replay the game with uh, female Eivor. And see how much I end up liking it. And yeah, exactly Rot, when, uh, you know, Edward uh, goes to the Templar meeting. And he gets kind of like, you know, like fakely invited, I guess, because he doesn't actually join the Templars. Um, Taurus says, you know, that uh, uh, passion heart shall be cooled and people have, been, have to, uh, to be led to sober thoughts and stuff like that. Kind of cool reference because uh, Darby McDavid, the lead narrative director of this game, has been writing Black Flag as well. So it's a bit like reference to his own writing right there.
Rantings and ravings not unlike full case delusions. Is there more to all this than I understand? Um, Holy David, an urgent word from your Flacos. When last we spoke, I warned you of a rot that I feared was eating at the healthy, still young flesh of our holy church. Today I am more convinced than ever that something drastic must be done. I've lately confirmed that there exists a group of men and women within our church who belong to a parasitic order of heathens. Men and women who wish for nothing less than the per pervers uh, perversion of our God's word. As lies upon a loyal hound, they scurry about unseen, using our resources for purposes in opposition to our savior's plan. In the past year, I have gleaned what I could about the beliefs of these vile usurpers, who call themselves the Order of the Ancients. There are but a few of their disturbing ideas. Uh, they believe a band cap was created not by the Lord God, but by lesser and imperfect gods, variously called Isu, Archons, or Nephilim, in their various unholy texts. In this way, they follow the unholy heresies of a Gnostic sect that flourished in the years before the um, Nikene Creed. They refuse the message of the Christ and his redemptive act of sacrifice. They disbelieve in sin and salvation and seek only knowledge and power, which they believe will free their spirit in the final days. They believe mankind is a lesser form of life, imperfect in the shadow of these lesser gods and that it is mankind's sole duty to aspire to the example of the lesser gods. Their obsession with these ancient ones has led them to make a fetish of diabolic artifacts, which they believe would give them power and righteous cause over their fellow men. These devil's tools I have not seen for myself, but I have observed their effect on a few. So that could be the, um, cursed places. So maybe the order of the ancients have, uh, you know, put them up. These artifacts. Uh, most blasphemous of their beliefs is perhaps this. They believe many of these lesser gods still walk the earth or may return one day in resurrected forms. Some they believe are continually reborn. These they call sages. Others seem to appear once only and never again. Whether they believe the Lord Jesus Christ to be such a one, I've yet to determine, but their literature is full of references to such beings. Of this I know to be true, in light of his gathering darkness. I urge swift and violent action, my lord, for the reach of his order is vast and the power insidious. Evo is soldier for our Christ, only a sustained campaign of eradication will end their advance. Eat my words with care and wisdom, O Bishanaman, that may the Lord God guard thee, exhort thee, and make thee enter the glory of his blessed and everlasting vision. Your faithful servant, Alcuin of Eorphovic, 10th of May, 804, Anno Domini. And uh, yeah, that is all we have in King Alfred's studies. So he's been observing us from the start. And uh, obviously, you know, he wants to create an order that rises out of the Order of the Ancients. That we can assume at this point will be the Templar Order. It's kind of interesting how, um, you know, they foreshadowed this uh, multiple times in the game. But Trevor Sado, I would say. Though at some point they do talk about uh, the Templar Order, I think, in the modern day, in like the laptop. And basically, it's saying something along the lines of, you know, it got created way later than Vala is taking place. But there are no sources, you know, saying that uh, there may be like an early form of it already. So, yeah, we can assume at this point, you know, that's gonna be uh, King Alfred's order. I definitely appreciate the way they introduce the order, you know, and how it kind of arises out of the Christian thought. And I think King Alfred is like the perfect, you know, dude to choose to be like the creator of it but I kind of wish there was like more of a consequence to this you know more like of Ava realizing what he actually did here but I guess he doesn't realize until you know he sees the effect of his new order but I still think it's curious that he was you know so alright with uh, 
the leader of the ancient ones. You know, just surviving and creating this new order. I feel like there should have been more of a, of a conflict, to be honest. Follow me to the casks! Ah, yes! For this, I am coming! No casks here, after all. Bring me drink! No one drink! 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 <laughs> I am unquenchable! But uh, yeah guys, I think this is uh, all we're gonna do for today, um, since I'm still not feeling, you know, 100% and don't wanna stream too long if that's the case. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be doing some stuff uh, offline, I think I'm gonna go do a bit of hunting, and maybe find a couple of the treasure maps already. But I'm definitely gonna be doing another stream of Valhalla to, you know, properly finish off all the side stuff that we have left and get the 100% together. But uh, that's true, as far as he knows, uh, the Order of the Ancients were the great evil to fight. You think that Alfred telling Eivor that he wanted to dismantle the Order hey! also affects Eivor's reaction to them as a threat. Yeah, I think it's definitely the reason why he, you know, is as peaceful towards uh, the Alfred. Huh? And you know, by being an enemy to the other members of the Order of the Ancients, he kind of becomes an ally to, uh, to Eivor. Um, but I still think, you know, after all this, that uh, Everett obviously has been playing uh, at manipulating Eivor. But he was still responsible for, you know, the deaths of uh, Soma, Unward, and Shaw. So I kind of feel like, you know, he should have been... Well, I would have expected him to be more angry with Alfred. But who knows, you know, maybe... One of the DLCs is gonna go more on two. If I'm realizing what he did. Yeah, it was definitely clear, you know, that Alfred had to survive because historically he didn't die at this point. And that the Templar Order, you know, has to have somebody who creates it. But yeah, it's still a bit curious about Ava's reaction. <laughs> you know, that he even like smiled at the thought of a new order. But uh, yeah, guys. Um, the next stream is gonna um, be tomorrow. I'm not yet sure if I'm gonna be playing more of this or Ghost of Tsushima, but it's gonna be one of the two games. I wanna thank you all for coming out and uh, joining for the end of uh, the main story. I definitely enjoyed, you know, the Hala story a lot. Like, despite my issues uh, with, you know, Ava's reaction, I thought it was a really, really well done and well written story. And I'm so, so happy, you know, to know that uh, there's still people that care about the lore and about enriching it and, you know, making it work with the other games. And it's like totally different to Odyssey <laughs> in that regard. And yeah, I'm just grateful for that, you know. It's exactly what I wished it would be in so many ways. Thank you, Rod. I appreciate it, dude. Definitely feeling better, but uh, yeah, not 100% yet. Let's hope it's gonna soon be like that. <laughs> but yeah, Rod, thank you again for the uh, raid earlier and uh, for joining for the end. Uh, Snake, take care. I hope you have a good day. And uh, yeah, thank you everybody else for coming out and joining as well. Let's go ahead and save here.
and uh, then we're gonna find ourselves some real targets. Let's see who's uh, 